Everything that you do is a reflection of the quality of service you provide, and if you're undercutting yourself by trying to save a few hundred dollars per listing, you don't deserve to get paid. When it comes to scaling your real estate business, one of the top struggles that agents have is creating leverage. And ultimately what you see so often, and you might be falling victim to this, are agents who are doing activities that are way below their dollar per hour worth. So what I'm going to do is break down eight specific activities that any agent who wants to break multiple six or seven figures per year should not be doing. You need to be outsourcing these. I'm going to explain why and where. And then after the fourth bullet point, I'm even going to explain an incredible opportunity that will take care of basically all of it for you. But without further ado, let's talk about how to create massive of leverage and scale your real estate business by no longer doing the silly activities that take a ton of time but yield little to no income. What's up? My name is Mike Schraub with the XP Realty and I train thousands of agents every year to scale their business leveraging social media. And this is a really important topic that not many people really dive into. And let me explain. So let's say that you want to break multiple six figures per year. Maybe it's 250,000, maybe it's 500,000. But if you do the math and you say that's what you want to make on an annual basis and then you reverse engineer that based on how many hours you want to work per day and then per week per month and thus per year maybe you equate that to maybe a hundred dollars per hour well what you're seeing time and time again and why so many agents struggle to scale their production is because they're doing activities that i'm going to go through that you can outsource for like 25 dollars an hour 10 dollars an hour five dollars an hour but you want to be worth a hundred dollars an hour well, how is that even possible? And you're doing below minimum wage activities, but you're expecting multiple six figure, even seven figure income. And that just does not align. So let me break down these eight very specific activities that you need to be outsourcing immediately, especially these first four, where I'm gonna break down how you can do that very easily, but how you can build a wildly scalable success real estate business without burning out. Okay, so the first one is video editing. At this point, if you follow my channel, you should know by now that every single agent should be on YouTube. You should have a YouTube channel. I've got a ton of videos breaking down how to rank number one in your market, how how to generate hundreds of clients per year and close deals per year for free from your YouTube channel. But one of the activities that so many agents get consumed with is editing their own videos. And yes, I know that there's a point in your business where every single penny and dollar might matter, but let's break down a little bit of a scenario here. Let's say that it takes you an hour on iMovie to edit a YouTube video. Well, what would happen if you took that same hour and allocated it to prospecting, door knocking for an hour, cold calling for an hour, creating three more YouTube videos in that hour or more short form content. So what you need to look at is not the expense that comes with outsourcing it on let's say Fiverr for $25 per video, but the investment into your business where that buys your time back. And if you allocate that time back into income producing activities like prospecting more content or new ads or follow up, that's going to allow you to scale your production. But so many people like to be busy instead of being productive. And what they do is they say, well, because I can edit it myself, then I'm just going to edit it myself. But what you're doing there is you're distracting yourself from doing the things you know you should be doing instead, like prospecting, like creating more content, like follow-up, and doing something that makes you feel like you're making progress when you really should be outsourcing video editing. And that is one of the most important things to do, especially if you're also active on TikTok and on Instagram and some of these other video platforms. Now that leads perfectly into number two, which is graphic design. I see all too many agents wasting a ton of time on Canva, trying to design their own thumbnails, brochures, banners, channel art, cover images, business cards, literally everything. And again, you can go on Fiverr and outsource all of that to somebody that does it all day, every day for like 10, 15, 20, $50. One time, get it done. $10 a thumbnail. Well, if it takes you again, 30 minutes to an hour to design a thumbnail, which it does for most agents if you actually want it to look good, you are not a graphic designer. And that's what agents need to understand is this is not your job. Your job is to get clients, service those clients, and nurture those clients. Your job is not a graphic designer. So outsource it and invest into your business for $10 an hour to get somebody who does it all day, every day, 
and that is their job. So not only is it going to save you time and make you more money, but it's gonna look way better because it's what they do all day, every day. Now, the third one is really important, but it comes with a, a major caveat. And what I'm talking about here is social media management and optimization. Now, this is where I see a lot of agents go wrong. I see so many agents that are actually doing a good job at trying to outsource this, but they outsource it to the wrong place. And what happens is I've seen a lot of agents outsource, for example, their YouTube optimization in terms of their tags, titles, descriptions, things like that, to people in third world countries, and they start to get more views. But what happens when you look at the data and the analytics of where those views are coming from? They are coming from third world countries, not from your country or even your market. And that's what you want when you're putting out content, clients to come to you from your market or your country, not views and vanity metrics to come from God knows where in countries that could never afford a home in your market. And what happens is when you try and outsource things like social media management and social media optimization to people on Fiverr, they want to make you happy. They want to look like they're doing a good job. And I've seen an endless amount of agents that come to me and they're like, Mike, I'm getting hundreds, even thousands of views now on my YouTube channel, but why am I not getting any comments? Why am I not getting any leads? Well, now you know why. Because they're using like telegram groups in their private little communities to inflate the views but you're not gonna get a client from it. So with optimization, it's really important to have somebody who knows what they're doing. Maybe you can train them, maybe you know what you're doing and you can create some Loom videos showing them how to do it properly. But if you're gonna be outsourcing this, which will save you a ton of time, you need to make sure that you're outsourcing it to somebody who knows and understands your market, thinking from your ideal consumer's perspective so they can give you proper quality results. Now, number four, before explaining how you can get all of this off your plate pretty easily for a very low cost or low investment is system and process design. Systems scale. So this is where a lot of agents get hung up is there's one or two avenues that happen. Avenue number one, they have no systems in place. They're doing everything manually, which is sucking a ton of time, doing repetitive tasks that could be outsourced or templated. And that's one of the limits to scale. Your business is hanging on by a thread. You have no outsourcing leverage. Or they spent endless amounts of time trying to create it, doing all of this zap here, zaps to and from different platforms, integrations, and it breaks, or it's complicated, or it sucks a ton of time. You get frustrated, pissed off, you quit. Either which way, it's incredibly important, but it's incredibly difficult to create properly. So this is something that you should be outsourcing to a professional, but where a lot of agents get hung up is they just don't simply know who to outsource it to. And that's where I like to present to people before going to number five, our agent accelerator program. So what the agent accelerator is, is we will actually pair you with multiple VAs for graphic design, video editing, social media management and optimization, and even a project manager to oversee all of it so that you're not having to manage all of these different components, but it's a life changer for agents. We've had so many people signing up for this and seeing unbelievable results because it's insanely cost effective. You can click the link in the description to find out more information about it. But essentially now, instead of you having to take 10, sometimes even a hundred or two hours in order to hire VAs, find the right ones, audit them and interview them, select them, train them, retain them. And the big one is training them, which becomes a nightmare. So many people want to go down the VA route. And what happens is you just get so consumed by having to find the right one and train them that you spend more time that you would have been doing it yourself. And then you get even more frustrated and then you quit altogether. Whereas you can just come into this incredible opportunity and we will do it all for you. So if you would like to have all of those first four tasks outsource, like many agents are who partner with us every single month, check the link in the description. You can find out all the details about it, but you can have a full content team and managers and everything to help run your business who all know what they're doing from day one. And you'll be blown away when you see the investment. But that is what I wanted to present to you before going on to number five. Okay, so number five is copywriting. Now, this is really good because now we've got things like ChatGPT, 
and you can outsource a lot of your copywriting now to AI. AI is starting to get really good. But the one thing that I wanna urge you and caution you about is that when you use AI, you need to take the time to actually train it properly. Now, thankfully, ChatGPT is actually rolling out some of its new features, and these are going to give you opportunities to have different GPT bots that are trained for specific things like copywriting for real estate so that you don't have to do all these different prompts in order to train it properly. But you do need to make sure that when you're using AI, it actually finds your voice because so many people are just trying to say please write me a blog about this and what happens is it comes out in a very templated tone people can immediately tell that it's not you and this is actually gonna hurt your business more than it helps it and there's a lot of agents who are falling victim to this right now looking at the overnight success cheat code where they can just type in one sentence and it spits out everything perfectly that just doesn't exist you need to talk to it you need to train it so copywriting is something you should not be doing entirely manually yourself you can create massive leverage with things like ai but the caveat to that is if you're going to be using ai you need to train it to get to know who you are who your ideal client is which market you serve the tonality you like and everything so that when it spits out the copy that you can use for drip campaigns, for email sequences, for market updates and newsletters. It is giving accurate information where people would not be able to tell the difference between you and what ChatGPT spit out. Number six is email management. This is something that you can get a VA to do. And what I mean by this is it doesn't mean that you have to have a VA responding to all of your emails. You should be doing that to clients. However, the organization of it is really powerful. Now, what I'll do is if you want a video showing you how I manage my emails, which was taught to me by my business partner, Louie, drop a comment below and just type in email management and we will reply with the link to the video. Changed my life. I used to have 32,000 unread emails. And after implementing this strategy, my team basically separates it based on priority, read later, waiting, I go in a couple times a day, I look at the priorities, I crank it out, and then I get back to work. So not only do I not have thousands of unread emails, but my email box is clean and I know exactly what I need to deal with immediately that is going to impact my business and the rest can wait. So I'm never skipping a beat on things that are important, but a lot of people are checking their emails constantly. They live in their inbox and it's sucking so much time from you and energy dealing with stuff that doesn't even matter. It's not urgent at all. So that video is life changing. It's free. You can check it out, but it's a really great video to use to also train your VA, your assistant, your team, whatever, in order to properly manage and segment your email so you can get in and get out and get back to work. Number seven, for people that are looking to really scale transaction management or TC, transaction coordinator. As you start to close multiple deals, you will start to see that it takes sometimes like 10 hours to do all the paperwork, the back and forth, signing, this, that, and the other thing per transaction. When you account for start to finish. So outsourcing a TC, again, the caveat to all of this is that if you're gonna be hiring somebody, if you're gonna be outsourcing these things, you need to reallocate that time into income producing activities, like more prospecting, more content, more follow-up. The worst thing people do and this is why somebody gets scared about outsourcing, is they save those 10 hours and use it to scroll on social media or go golfing or screw off. If you're going to be investing in your business to save time, you need to make sure that you're reallocating that time into the activities that are going to get you more business. And lastly, and hope to God, this is not an issue for anybody, listing photos and videos. If you're watching this video and you are currently recording your own listing videos or your own listing photos, I don't even know what to say. At this point, you need to get back to the drawing board. That is a disservice to your client. You should not be taking iPhone photos and videos of your properties. If it's a listing, you should have a local video team and you should also have local photographers who are the best of the best to highlight your client's property. It doesn't matter what the cost is. If it's 100,000, 500,000, a million, 5 million, does not matter. Everything that you do is a reflection of the quality of service you provide. And if you're undercutting yourself by trying to save a few hundred dollars per listing, you don't deserve to get paid. 
you don't deserve to sell that listing. A different agent who's going to invest into their clients deserves that listing. So make sure that every single touch point that you have with your clients is a direct reflection of the quality of work that you want to do and that you promised to them and committed to them, which means you have to make sure to outsource your photography for every listing and your videography for every listing. So if you would like to know more information about the Agent Accelerator, which is getting rave reviews and people are loving it right now, check the link in the description. Again, we've compared it to all kinds of different opportunities that people are providing right now and nobody touches the quality of work and also the pricing structure that we have for you. So if you have any other questions about outsourcing, drop a comment below. Otherwise, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.